and now this is now the Monday after that weekend and I'm knackered. I'm completely not wrecked. It's done as in. I'm feeling not too bad, but I am wrecked. You know, I, I am totally freaking. You know, what I've got is like pains in my hamstrings and my backside, There's pains in my lower back. My coughs were cramping up last night. Um, and I'm having to try and sort of now get a, a lot of calories into us to try, literally try and bring back some of the energy again so that I, I, can, I can carry on. So. When I come back to the gym, and uh, that's going to be a tough time for us, a really tough time for us to go back there and do that. So, but like I say, I'm going to try and keep these videos going for as long as I can. Um, hopefully, if or when I go back to work, the lads won't be too bad and take the piss out of us too much because, like I say, I'm a shy sort of guy and I keep myself to myself, as most of them know, because I think a lot of them were saying that to Marty, you know, that they just didn't know anything about me at all. Which is the way I've always been. I keep myself to myself as much as possible and just get on with my life. Just do what I'm gonna do. These videos are showing everybody like, different aspects of my life. You know, some of them earlier on were showing me as going up with me camera and doing my photography, which I was well into. I haven't been able to get up with my camera for such a long time because I'm just always been shattered. You know, so hopefully I'll be able to get back into doing my photography, especially because I'm collecting some of these. Figures now I'll get to take some pictures of them and upload them. Um, and I obviously want to sh show off my figures as I get more and more. Um, it's not going to be that long before I'm actually going to be getting you in little what you call a man cave, but it's going to be out there in my garden. And I'm getting a big shed. I think I'm going to call it my man cave, and I'm going to basically move a lot of my stuff into there and start collecting more figures put them in there um, because obviously my wife doesn't really want a, a full sitting room full of bloody figures and shit she's allowing us to have these ones in here for the time being and she's quite happy with them being in here for the time being so eventually I'll be shifting them out into the shed when I get the, the, the shed or my little man cave as I'm going to call it but anyway guys yeah I do appreciate everyone that watches even the guys at work even though I might end up suffering for these fucking things I still appreciate the fact that he's a watching guys. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, it sort of, it's nice in a way to realise that some of the guys that know us, yeah, they, they know me name. They don't know me as a person, but they know us enough to know me name, know a little bit about us. Is actually wanted to take the time out to watch me videos. Maybe not so much to learn more about us, but just. To see how I cope with it, you know, how I'm how I'm actually able to cope with what I'm going through. Like I say, there isn't any great thing to. Yes, I have got a, a different mentality because of the fact I've done hypnotherapy and I've done neuro linguistic programming. They and of life coaching, and they had a big impact on us. They had a big thing to do to the way I carried on believing in stuff. But I've always had that attitude from very, very young of just whatever happens, happens, just get on with it. And I think when I started learning more about the sort of what I classify as the universal law, that's when I, I come to the thing for me of just like, you know, whatever's meant to be, will be. Just let it be. Get on with it. Yeah. My thingy, you've seen, I don't know whether you've seen it, I've got a t-shirt that has GIFD on it. And that stands for get it fucking done because that's my philosophy it's just get on with it and get it fucking done yeah there's no point in crying about spilt milk there's no point in getting yourself upset about as much stuff as what a lot of people do get themselves upset about yeah just get on with it and get it done because life still carries on regardless yeah i've got cancer so what life still goes on my life's still going on Yes, it's things for me are sort of almost put on hold, and uh, while I'm dealing with certain aspects of it, but life is still going on. Yeah, you know, you've just got to get on with it and get it done. Yeah, it's not going to stop. 
if and when I eventually pop my clogs, life's still gonna go on. They ain't gonna fucking stop because I'm fucking not there. So, you know, and that's what I sometimes I'll put these videos out is if there's anything that does happen to us, when my kids have kids, if I'm not around to see the grandkids, because I've only got like one set of grandkids at the minute, if my other kids don't have other kids before I've gone, then at least they've got something that can show the grandkids online, this is your granddad, this is how he think this is the way he was, this is the type of person he was, yeah, so they can get to know us a bit. Because we just nobody knows how long we're gonna be here for. Nobody. I don't care who you fucking think you are, you don't know how long you're gonna be here for. Because for all anyone knows we could walk out the door and wait, we might not even get out the door, we might literally fucking just be sitting doing it, have a heart attack and that's it, gone. Yeah, nobody knows. So you just get on with it. Get it done, live the life your best you can. Yeah. And that's been brought home more so again for me with having the cancer. It's it's like well, you know, life is too precious to just waste it. So fucking live it as much as possible. Get the best out of it you possibly can. I'm living the best I can do right now. Yes, I'm not getting out and doing a lot of stuff while I'm on the sick. Yeah, you know, people like to say, well, you should just go out and do this with your camera and do this and that and that. But you didn't realise this chronic fatigue has you fucked very, very quickly. You know, I'm pushing myself to my limits on a regular basis to try and extend what I can do, to try and bring back some of my fitness levels. You know, I'm pushing myself, I'm pushing myself, and then I have times when I'm just like, that's it, I'm wiped out completely. You know, but I'm still getting it done. I'm still getting on with it. I'm still living each day. You know, if there's any of you guys out there that want to know more about any sort of the, the, the thought processes I have, the way my brain sort of calculates stuff, the, the fact that the what I think about the universal law, what I think about to do with that, to me, your life is already mapped out. You know, it, it, it's like they say, it's a timeline. You've got a timeline, you know, either whether that timeline's in front of you or whether that timeline actually is going through you, it don't matter which way you look at it. Your timeline is laid out. Okay, it's already there. Your past's already gone. You are already wherever you are here. I'm going to say, and then your time link carries on this way for whatever length of time there is on it. You can't see it, but whatever's there is already there. You are just waiting to get to each one of those things. You know, you're just waiting to get each one of those paths. And then you you make whatever choice you make. But that choice you make would have been the choice you would have made anyway. You know, whether you whether you look at it and think it's a well, I've got a choice. I'll go this way. I'll go that way. Or I'll, I'll purposely go that way instead. Mate, that's the way you were going to go anyway. Because your brain would have went whatever it was going to do. And it would have went that way regardless. Yeah? You could literally be sitting there now going, Mark, that's a lot of fucking bullshit. You know, I've got a choice. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to prove it. Because that's the way I was thinking of good going. Well, now that's the way I'm going to go. And I'll say to you still. Right? But that's what was going to happen anyway. You were going to do that, make that choice anyway. Yeah, whichever way you put it, that's the choice you were going to make anyway. Whether it was to prove me wrong or prove me right, you are still going to make that fucking choice where your life's going to go. And that's where I think. And it's, that's why I just think to myself, whatever it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If this cancer's fully gone, it's fully gone because it was meant to fully go. Because the treatment was meant to work that way. If I'm still left with something, it's because that's what's meant to happen. If it was to attack back, and start growing and, and eventually take this out within the because I know there's a thingy there that states that a lot of people do not survive past five years from this form of cancer when it's as advanced as what I've got. That's my first now, my first sort of hurdle, my first thing that I look to the future for is to say, okay, they say with it within a five year thingy, if I've still got it, that's the period of time that I may not get past. Okay, my thing is to get past that, to beat that, to get to that sixth year, seventh year, eighth year, and then to just keep on fucking going after that to prove, hey, look, I don't care what your thing you say. Yeah, that's where I'm meant to be. That's where I'm meant to be, and that's yeah, not to die then, but to die way back, way, way, way over there. Yeah, that's my thing. Whether I do or not, I'm not going to know till the time comes.
Nobody knows. Okay, but that's how I live my life. I, my future plan right now. I don't have one. I, it's like that part of this has been put on hold until I find out these results in. Well, I think it's four or five or six weeks time. When I find out those results, that's when I can then sort of start thinking to myself, okay, I can start looking towards building towards a future. And whether that's to beat the five year or whether it's just to go, you know what it is? I see my long term thingy now. And I will just keep going until such a time as I've been doing longer keep going. Yeah. Because that's my thingy. My life's already mapped out. Whatever's meant to be is already there. Just waiting for me to reach each stepping stone, to, for, to reach each part of it, and then just from that point decide which way am I going to go, which is the way I would have went anyway, and then go off in that direction and do whatever needs to be done. That's my thing, you guys. You, know, you just can disagree with it as much as you like. That's entirely up to you. Yeah, you have your own opinions. Some of you may look at what I've said and go, you know, what, that's a pretty damn good way of looking at it. I, I might take that idea that then principles on and see if they change my life and make me have give less of a shit about certain things, you know, and just realise that hey, whatever's meant to be is gonna be and that's it. I really have no choice in it. All I can do is just live, go up, do what I can do, enjoy. Yeah, and that's what I wanna think of you guys, yeah. Anyone that wants to think of it, like I say, comment down below. Yeah. I will get back is at some point, no doubt about it, I've never yet, as far as I'm aware, on Instagram or anywhere else, not replied back to somebody that's put a comment down, because I, it's a pet peeve of mine when, if I take my time out, my dear, to comment on something, to not get a comment back, it's just like, really dude, you think you're that important that you can't take a couple of minutes out? I mean, yeah, I do know for some people it'll be harder because they might have thousands and thousands of people writing to them every freaking day yes and i can understand in that respect if that was the case me <laughs> i haven't got that many people thinking so if anyone was to bloody comment on me stuff i'll, I'll get back to them yeah without a shadow of a doubt i'll get back to them but i will say as a caveat to that you take the piss chances are I'll block your ass freaking simple as yeah I don't mind answering questions, I don't mind thinking, I don't even mind having a laugh with somebody. But if somebody comes out there to really be an arsehole, and to, uh, and to put us down in any way, shape or form, I'll just black your ass straight away. Because I won't take that shit. I don't need to. Yeah, It's actually going to be bad enough at work when I go back to work, if I've got to take that shit to work. Because that's a bad enough thing situation. Yeah, I've got to take it to work, but I certainly won't take it on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I won't take it on you. Yeah. I'll just block your fucking ass straight away. So if you want to comment, comment, and I will happily give back to you. I'll happily have a laugh with you, but just be nice, you know. That's our thing, because that, that's what I want in my channel, is to be nice. Anyway, guys, I've waffled on enough. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next one, because I will be making another one after this one. Catch you there, guys. Thanks very much for watching. <coughs> that's cool. Bad Wolf.